Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at Monzo. We'll speak about it, exchange rates, features, and some other things. We'll take a look at their pros, cons, so let's get started. Basically, Monzo started live in 2016 as a prepaid master card that could be topped up via its app and used to make free withdrawals abroad. It was created by people who previously worked at rival Stalling Bank. Monzo Markets itself is a bank that lives on your smartphone and now has more than 8 million customers using the debit card to both manage their money and spend around the world. Main features of Monzo are salary sorter, spending budgets, saving pots, bell spots, instant spending notifications, free cash withdrawals abroad, no transaction fees, joint accounts, overdraft, loans, Monzo flags, get paid early, share tops, international transfers, also you can use Apple Pay, Google Pay, and you can track your mortgage. Currently, Monzo offers a range of accounts including personal, joint, and business accounts. Monzo offers all the usual current account services such as receiving your salary, setting up direct debits, sending orders, withdrawing cash with a contactless MasterCard and transferring money, but it also lets you manage your money as well as just hold it. If you want to apply for a Monzo account, you need to be a UK resident to get a Monzo card, but it's working on offering additional international accounts in the future. If you live in the USA, you can also sign up for a Monzo account. At present, you need to be age 16 or over to get a card, which may also be lowered in the future. You can open both personal and joint accounts with Monzo. If you wish to open a joint Monzo bank account, both account holders need to have a Monzo card account first. Also, Monzo has an account specifically for teenagers that gives them all of the freedom of an adult bank account with blocked and age-related spending. The key features of the Monzo teen account are listed below, so contactless MasterCard debit card, Apple or Google Pay, spending notifications, spending budgets, split bills, also fee-free spending abroad, and no overdraft. Monzo is fully regulated by the CCA, so like any bank, it has to protect clients' funds and treat customers fairly. There are no charges for opening or running a Monzo card account, payments in the UK, cash withdrawals in the UK, and payments abroad are all free, other than the MasterCard standard exchange rate with no added fees. You can deposit um, cash with Monzo at any pay point location across the UK, but you will be charged a £1 fee. For example, if you deposit £10, only £9 will reach your bank account. Monzo only allows you to deposit between 5 to 300 at any one time and a maximum of 1000 every 6 months. This reduces to 500 every 6 months if you are 16 or 17 years old. Monzo uses WISE for international payments, which prides itself on being more transparent and cheaper than banks. For example, to transfer £10 into euros, it costs 29 cents in transaction fees, which means WISE will convert £9.71 into euros. Therefore, at the current 2-hour graduated rate of 1.15, of the recipient received €11.23. On the Y side, you can compare to the cost to other banks and in this case it admits it isn't always cheaper than some of other banks as they don't charge a transfer fee. If you are uh, withdrawing cash abroad, you will be only charged a 3% fee outside the European zone. You can find some alternatives to Monzo such as Revolut or Sterling Bank, so you can compare them according to our other videos. Main Monzo pros are easy to set up, good for budgeting, fee-free spending abroad, automatic savings, overdraft and loans, competitive saving interest rates. And Monzo cons, daily withdrawal and spending limits, app only, requires internet and no bank branches, one pound fee for depositing cash at a local pay point, can only deposit a maximum of 1000 cash every 6 months. In summary, Monzo has become one of the leading challenger brands and app-only banks. Its app is simple to use and has great functionality but does suffer from occasional technical issues and bugs. Despite its past teething issues, Monzo appears to be upfront with its customers and updates them regularly through its website, blog and app. Monzo budgeting features offer great insight uh, into your spending and help you to analyze where your money has goes each month. 
In addition due to the cost of living crisis, Monzo has also made some of its budgeting features accessible to all accounts, meaning those without a Monzo subscription can also benefit from its main budgeting features. Overall, Monzo is a handy app that makes banking for more friendly, understandable and approachable.